Hi, descendants. Welcome to another video. Today, it is going to be about our four favorite topic, crystallization catalyst blueprints. And in fact, actually, even in energy activated blueprints. And no, they didn't increase the drop rate. However, they did change one thing that is going to make our life a little bit easier. And today in this video, we're going to talk about it. And I'm also going to show you a few clips of yesterday's um, you know, clears uh, that I did and I got a few crystallization catalyst blueprints way easier than it used to be. So before we get started, I just wanted to quickly shout out our Discord server, Bushido Maru's Dojo. Probably for my latest videos, they blew up a little bit um, and I talked about my Discord server and it went from, from 20 people to 200 people in just a couple of days. There is a reason behind that. Our Discord server is actually pretty useful because over here you can find your, yourself people to grind with, play with. And in general, we also have uh, channels for different builds. People are sharing their own builds. You don't have to watch millions of videos and stuff. If you wanna play Freyna, if you wanna play Glay, people sharing their builds. The ins and outs about you know building those you can have a discussion over there so our discord is becoming like a mini hub for first descendant content and i love it if you want to be part of this community the discord link will be in the description below i'll be more than happy to meet you there and if you actually need help with any hard bosses whether it is you know pyromaniac up to frostwalker even probably gluttony Make sure you check out my Twitch channel because I help out new players or people that need help with hard content every single day. Description below. There's two ways of getting crystallization catalyst blueprints. One of them is from killing bosses and opening amorphous materials. I, for example, stay like this, like Mega Man, and I freaking aim at the head of Pyromaniac or Dead Bright, and I go like poof, and then they move like one step to the side, and you see your shots fly away. And I can only tell you that when you even miss one shot in the lepic thing even if you do this solo you're gonna fail the fight you will have to reset one shot miss you're done yes especially if you're in a group and they draw uh drag your your boss especially thank you jayco for making me do and show you that it's actually easy it takes less than 10 minutes to get a crystallization catalyst <laughs> and an ultimate ajax so the other way is from doing reactors and also opening amorphous materials. However, the do those two different methods are a little bit different in terms of time, right? We want to be time efficient. If you want to go the boss route, you will have to do dungeons, right? Now let's talk realistically. Uh, what are the, the options for you to do dungeons? If you want to go the absolute fast way, the fastest way, there are certain dungeons that will take you between five and seven minutes if you're really good. With modifiers, for example, you could do the shelter in about six to seven minutes. I showcased this yesterday on stream with, a, with, with my bunny with about 230-240%, um, something like this. Modifiers like this, you could get almost always a guaranteed, unless you, I don't know, unless you skip like 50% of the mobs you will get a guaranteed double drop. That means for a matter of about six to seven minutes, you would get two amorphous materials. And if you do the first one over here, obviously you would go for the one with the crystallization catalyst. If you choose the other one, you will be grinding for energy activated blueprints, right? That's if you are efficient. That's if you already have a build character, you know how to do it. You can go and let's say in six, seven minutes, you can already get two amorphous materials and if you have a strong bossing character and you kill let's say the devourer in about 20 seconds then yes this could be considered an efficient method within 10 minutes you get two attempts to get a crystallization catalyst blueprint however the more popular way is and it's also a little bit of a way that is considered you know so a little bit more beginner friendly because you don't actually have to be super geared um noob friendly if you will is doing the outposts now it is recommended to have sharon and so basically what sharon is all about she can go invisible and in the outposts there are certain hands that instead of blowing up you can open and hack and this is increasing your drop chance of getting amorphous materials and let let me talk about the change what they changed over here so doing this they didn't change the the outpost itself it's still the same it still has the same drop chances 
However, what they did change is the reactors and the mini bosses from the reactors. Posted it for okay, all right, man. Man, when I'm when I'm streaming, I don't. I usually have my Discord notifications and stuff turned off, so I don't hear your messages and stuff like this when someone writes in Discord. And only if I decide to open up Discord and see what's going on, then I see stuff. But I'm done here. Look at this. And I got another CC9 nice. reactors. And what they changed it, they made them so much more easier and so much quicker to kill. Plus, on top of everything, now they drop ammo and now they also drop recovery. So you'll get some mana back, you'll get some HP back. And yesterday on stream, I literally cleared out about 20 amorphous materials in probably about 20 minutes. This wouldn't have been, you know, possible before because some of the uh, mini boss fights over here used to take sometimes between two and three minutes because they have multiple stages and stuff. So over here, what you would do, obviously, this is why Sharon is really recommended. You can, uh, you know, still go and open up these cans for a higher chance to get your amorphous material. I just want to open up one over here in order to show you how this works, why this is, you know, the recommended methods. And over here, I just got one amorphous material and I'll just go and open it up for you to show you um, how actually um, easier it got. I'm not going to even switch my descendant. I'm just going to go here straight and open up this reactor and this boss got so much more easier really so much more easier now i usually used to switch back to my bunny and stuff like that right now i don't even care the hp of this of this you know mini boss right now has been decreased they're really really more easier to kill let me just pop this up very quickly and the biggest change what they did obviously is they just literally made them drop hp mana ammo and stuff like this i didn't get a crystallization catalyst blueprint but this is now way more convenient now let's get to the tip that i'm going to give you after opening a hundreds hundreds of these right the advice that i can give you and we had this discussion many times with people on stream and discord and stuff like this People complain that they're not getting the things that they're looking for. And there is an unwritten rule or the game has a sixth sense. Whatever you are looking for, you're going to get the opposite one. So my suggestion is if you're looking for crystallization catalyst, focus the amorphous materials that will be dropping you, whether the ultimate you know piece that you're looking for let's say i'm looking for this ultimate glay go for the pieces go for the gear that you want to craft and that you want to get don't specifically try to go for crystallization catalyst blueprints the reason why i'm telling you this is because with this approach with this method you're actually gonna get one of each whether it is going to be this or energy activators doesn't matter plan your reactors accordingly with the with the things that you are going to be grinding whether it is anything for enduring legacy by the way you can also just type here enduring legacy and you will see all the amorphous materials that drop enduring legacy blueprints over here you have 111 that has a 32 percent chance for getting enduring legacy which also ends up to if you energy activator blueprints look for the ones that could drop you the weapon that you're looking for you're not looking for energy activator let's say you're looking for greg all right cool this drops greg's this drops also crystallization catalyst this also drops the ultimate glade piece so just prioritize by the things that you're looking for, right? You're looking for Grax Reversed Fate, go and grind the materials for this weapon. And trust me, one day you will get tons of weapon pieces, but no crystallization catalyst. The next day you would get tons of crystallization catalyst, no weapon drops. So just make yourself a list of priorities. Like, okay, I want to grind this, this, and this weapon, and this catalyst. Those are the four amorphous materials that I will be grinding for. I will be rotating, and I will be just getting these. And trust me, you will get crystallization catalysts one after another, after another, after another, without even trying. So my advice is, make yourself a priority list and go for it. Go for the priority list based on what weapons and descendants you want to get. And trust me you will get enough crystallization catalyst blueprints i hope this helps out i wish you good luck with your drops to watch so far let me know in the comments below what is your preferred method of getting crystallization catalyst would you go for the dungeon route and killing bosses or would you go the reactor route and kill reactors